everyone. Welcome to Deanna Creates. So in today's video, we are going to be making this really fun little pockets. Uh, you can use these in your art journals. They can be used for gift cards. Just lots of really fun things that you can do with these. And we're going to be making these out of toilet paper rolls. So let's just get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to flatten out your toilet paper roll. And so um, there are a lot of ways that you can do this. I ran this through my Sizzix, um, but you can just flatten it out, um, you know, just cr crush it down and then just work with your bone folder or just something where you're pressing it down. You could use your brayer, you know, to help do that. And then you could put it under a stack of books for a little bit, some heavy books. Um, but that it flattens really, really easy. So, so that's the first thing that you're going to do. And then you're going to want to find, you know, some kind of papers that you want to use. Um, the six by six size of papers work really, really well, um, for these projects. Um, for this one that I did, I used this, a paper out of here. This is a, uh, a Prima paper and um, I love these little six by six pads uh, by Prima. They're, they're just really, really awesome. Um, and then um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to just take your paper and this one and I don't think I brought which paper pad it's from. Um, you're just going to put your paper face down and then you're just going to put your little pocket on here and you're going to fold the paper over. Now, there's lots of ways that you can do this. Um, you don't really even have to do the back if you don't want to, because if you are going to glue it in your art journal, um, you know, there's no need to do that. But I just go ahead and do the back of it because I'm just not sure, uh, you know, how I'm going to use the pocket. And so then we're just going to use our glue stick and we're going to just put our glue stick our glue on straight onto the paper. That just makes it a lot easier. And the um, I'm using the Yuhu. I also like the Elmer's Craft Bond glue stick. That works really well too. And so this then you're just going to place it down. and fold it over and then you're just going to keep you know working it here till you feel like it's glued really well and I like to use my brayer for that too just to get that extra pressure on there to make sure that it is you know the glue is adhering so you know whatever works for you and your when you're working with glue. And so then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to glue the bottom of this and I'm just going to use a little bit of clear tacky glue to do that. Now if you are planning to use this for a gift holder, gift card holder, make sure that you have, you do just a really small, a small bead of it around the edge because if you get it up too far then your you know, your gift card won't go all the way down. And so there is that. Let's put that brayer on there. So you guys, these are really, really, like I said, these are really, really fun. And I just love that we're, you know, recycling something that, um, you know, that normally we just throw away and using it in a really, really fun way. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the top of this. And so you can either, you know, just fold it over across the top to kind of get your guideline and go back and forth. And then you can either use your scissors or you can use your little trimmer, whatever way that you like to do it. I'm going to use the trimmer here just so I can kind of line up where I want to cut this. And 
And I'm backwards here. And then that makes just a nut. Whoop, I didn't cut all the way through. That makes a nice clean edge to it. And so you can see that's that. you can trim it off a little bit if you have to because you know if the roll isn't exactly even and so there is like the start of our little pocket and you can see it's it looks so cute this paper is really pretty it's coming up and so then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our little notch in there. And I like to use um, just like a circle punch for this, um, but you can certainly cut it. Um, you don't have to have this in order, you know, to do this. And so I'm just going to put my little punch in here and you just want to do it about halfway halfway down and not a lot of it that you want to do and then you're just going to punch and it creates this little little pocket there a little notch and then you can glue this piece of it that you cut out on the back side if you want that can be a little tedious sometimes so I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> and now the fun part is we can start decorating this. And so I have pulled out some washi tape and I just look through all my little bits of things that I have and, you know, tried to put together things that um, I wanted to put on here. But there are so many possibilities with this. You can add, you know, you can tear other scraps of paper. You can use you know, uh, book pages, um, you know, little things that look like newspaper, other pieces of scrapbook paper. I mean, there's, there's just so many ideas for this. So I am going to use some washi tape. Um, and that's what I did on this one too. I used this washi tape right here. Um, it is this one. I don't know if, how well you can see that. Um, and this one I'm going to use, it also has some roses, but I, I love the color. It's a darker color. And so I'm just going to put this right on the edge here. Like so. And then I will just trim it off. Scissors. But like I said, there's lots of possibilities for this. And so that's kind of what it looks like now. And so it just adds, you know, another layer. Um, and so then I'm going to take, I found this really cute little, um, just this little cutout with these little birds. And I thought the colors and all of that would go really well together. But the first thing I wanna do is I do wanna put a little bit of script on here just to give it a little bit more um, depth to the background. So I'm just gonna use my vintage photo and just kind of put this down. And that just adds, that just adds to it. Kind of another little layer. And then of course we're gonna go around it with our, with our vintage photo ink, which you guys know I love so much. So how have you guys been doing this week? 
I hope wherever you are that the storms have not been coming your way. And if they are, I hope you, everything is okay. It's, it's definitely been crazy, crazy weather these days. And so I just put a little of the ink on that. And so I'm gonna use my glue stick just to put this on. And you guys, I mean, these, these would be fun to do if you have kids. Um, they'd be fun little projects, you know, that you could do and they could put their own little spin on it. Use construction paper. Um, oh, there's just so many possibilities. And so I'm just gonna put this here. Oh, that looks really cute. And then the same, this little, it, this is just a little tag and it just says dream. And I'm just gonna kind of place it, kind of go into this, towards the middle of that. Like right there. And so there is what it looks like so far. And so you can see how quickly these can come together. The, the hardest part is, or at least for me, is trying to figure out what paper I want to use and what I want to go with it. Um, that is, um, that's the hardest part for me. But I love them, I love them. I, I love how quick they are to do and I just love how, how, they, how they come together and how they look. I love, I love everything about them. So I'm just using the Distress Ink around the, the edges of everything, kind of feathering it again, just to kind of give it that vintage, that vintage look. And so that is really all there is to making these little pockets. Um, they are just, I think they're just beautiful. Um, and it's a great way to use things that you have in your stash. Um, if you have a lot of scrapbook paper, because I do, because I absolutely love it. Um, and then just all the little bits and pieces. You could use napkins on there. I think that would be pretty. I haven't tried that, but I'm hoping to do that. So you could use napkins on there, and um, I think that would be really nice. And so another thing that I wanna show you is, so this is the top of you know the paper that we cut off of the top of here. And I wanna show you something really quick that you can do with these that are really, really fun. And so I'm going to clean up this edge of this just a little bit where it's a little bit uh, wonky from where I cut it across the top. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is these are what are called belly bands. And you can use belly bands in your art journal. You can use them to wrap around things. Um, so here's one that I did with the leftover part of this. And this is what it looks like. And so you can use these belly bands and you can like wrap them around things. Um, you can place them um, in your art journal and I'll show you that in just a minute. But any of these scraps of paper that you have like this are, you can do this with. And so these are little ones, you could use a whole full sheet. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold these these papers, these already had a crease in it, so I'm just kind of following along with that crease. And you're just gonna, you know, get some really sharp edges there. I didn't bring my, oh, here's some to use this. Um, to really, you know, make that really crisp on your edges. And then I like to also do it the opposite way Again, just to make those sharp creases. And so that is what it looks like right now. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a hole punch 
And so at the very corners, you're going to like angle your hole punch. And so it's gonna kind of look like a ticket. And so you just do it like this. And then at your crease, you wanna come, let's see where it is, the crease I did, oh, it's right here. You wanna do like a half of a hole punch there. And the same thing. Ooh, that flew. And the same here. And so this, again, is just a great way to be able to use your papers, your scraps, um, just in another fun way. And then on the ends, you just angle it. And so there is just a really, really cute belly band. And then of course, I am going to distress it a little bit. And I do think I'm gonna use the vintage photo instead of a blue color. <clears throat> and so we're just going around there doing the same thing. <clears throat> And then you wanna do where you've creased it because that's what really helps it to stand out. And then there is a little belly band that we can use in our projects. And so, um, so like what you can do, so this is a journal that I made out of a um, lunch sack, which we're gonna do that on here. And here's one that's already in there that I used. And so see, it's just a way that you can just add it, you know, into, into your journal. And then you could take, <clears throat> let me show it to you in this one. So you could then take the little pocket that you made. And let's see. This doesn't match quite well, but you would just glue it into your journal like this. And then you could put a little tag. You could, <clears throat> if you wanted to do the belly band, you could even just, you know, have this poking out of the top. Um, you could do the opposite side and have it coming out. Um, put a little tag in there with some words coming out of it. Um, you know, doily, anything that you want just to kind of create a little tuck spot for um, your treasures that you're putting into your journal. <clears throat> you could also do it, you know, um, horizontal so that, you know, when you put it in there, you could, you know, put your tuck, whatever you're tucking in your journal that way um, would be really, really fun. And so they just, it just really adds, it just adds to it. Um, it adds just a little something, something extra. And then the same with your belly band. So that then you could take this belly band and I mean, you could just like glue it directly into your journal and then, you know, write on it, put words on it. Um, lot, lots of fun things that you could do. So just to give you guys some ideas of ways that you can use these cute little cards once you've made them. Um, but I just love them and I think they're fun um, and a great way, again, to just recycle your toilet paper roll. So that is really all I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys will give this a try. I would love, love, love to see what you create and what your ideas are with the little pockets, uh, how you decide to use them. So you guys, please sh be sure to uh, leave me that uh, either over on the Facebook page or on the community page in YouTube. I would love, love, love to see what you're working on. So as always, Love and light to you all, and we'll see you again real soon.